Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. More troubles for Dangote Refinery as a foreign media organization has exposed its technical challenges showing that it does not have the capacity to refine the foil as it planned. That is what we're going to talk about in this video at this time. And before I go further on that, uh, if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell anytime I have a new video. You'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, Google will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours. And also don't forget, I, there are some books. Some of my books are pinned on the wall here. These books, you can just type the title of the book and the author name, my name there. It will link you to Amazon, Amazon platform. My books are there in Amazon, sold all over the world. You can get it in uh, e-copy fashion. You can get it in paperback. You can get it in hardcover, anywhere you want. Amazon does, uh, they, they do uh, print on demand. When you request for any book, they will print it. They will send it to you anywhere in Nigeria, anywhere around the world. Amazon will send it to you. So, so these are some of my books. I have many others. If you go to my Amazon page, you see several of my uh, works there. And these are books that are as informative as some of the things we talk about in this channel. We don't play around here. We give you the facts as they are. Uh, those books, I can tell you for free. Some of them fiction, some non-fiction. Uh, you 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 are really appreciate it when you have access to them. Thank you and welcome on board. Now what we're talking about is uh, the refinery of Dangote because right now you know that Dangote refinery is having a lot of challenges and the challenges stem from its disagreement with the federal government of Nigeria. And uh, if you think that the problem is over, it is not. It is getting worse. This is because uh, a whole lot of things are developing. But let us look at where the problem of Dangote started. Now, trouble started for Dangote refineries when the Nigerian midstream and downstream petroleum regulatory authority stated that the government was yet to license the Dangote refinery to commence operation. They also said that the diesel from the refinery was of inferior quality compared to the imported products. Federal government uh, officials who are in charge of the downstream and the upstream sector also said that the, the refinery is still at pre-commissioning stage. Of course, this is even as uh, the Dangote refinery before then had claimed to have started the refining foil and exporting to other countries, claiming that its only handicap was lack of supply of crude by the international oil companies operating in Nigeria. That was what Dangote Group told us that they have already started production, refining fuel, diesel, selling it outside Nigeria. And that their only challenge is lack of crude supply from Nigerian companies, that's international oil companies, IOCs, operating in Nigeria. Out of that frustration of not getting supply from the local market, is now getting crude from United States, Brazil, and elsewhere. And 
they wanted Nigerians to know that the problem is from the NNPCL or Nigerian National Petroleum Company uh, Limited. But the, those in charge of the downstream and upstream regulatory issues say that Dangote is not yet ready. That it is at pre-commissioning stage. That is not even up to 60% uh, stage in terms of completion. Now, the government also said this because the regulatory authority was saying that Dangote demanded that they should stop marketers from importing fuel that it has the capacity to meet the needs of Nigerians. Okay, and that was what spawned the, the chief executive officer of the regulatory authority to say it is not true. Saying that Dangote does not have that capacity to meet the uh, supply need of Nigerians. That is still at the pre-commissioning stage. And that even the quality of his diesel is uh, of inferior quality. But let me also say it, say this. Dangote was the first person to say that the fuel being imported into the country by importers was of poor quality. So I think the, the regulatory authority wanted to hit back on Dangote also claimed that Dangote's own is of poor quality. Sort of. But that is by the way. Now, what is now unfolding is a report by the Reuters, a foreign uh, news media organization, one of the most reputable media organizations in the world, has reported, the Reuters has reported that uh, Dangote refinery is not refining. It is not refining product. That's what Dangote is doing, that Dangote will get, allegedly, that's what they're alleging, that Dangote will get crude oil from both United States and Nigeria and then resell it. That's what Rata has saying, alleged. Are you getting what I'm saying? Rantas are alleged and they are claiming that they got their information from inside the sources from inside the refinery itself. And according to Reuters, they said that this indicated this uh, this move by Dangote of reselling crude oil that it had bought from Nigeria and United States without refining them. It said indicated that, uh, that, that this is an unusual move according to Reuters. He said this is an unusual move for refineries, and he said that this is because. Dangote Refineries is having technical challenges at the refinery. That Dangote Refinery is having technical challenges in terms of refining crude oil. Which is, this is really troubling in terms of uh, this issue of Dangote Refinery. Now, if that is proven to be true, it then means that the, the chief executive officer of Nigerian Ministry and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, Mr. Farouk Khamed, is not wrong after all about the Dangote refinery's capacity to meet the petroleum needs of Nigerians if federal government is to stop importation of fuel into the country. Because look at it, Farouk told us that this refinery is not producing up to capacity. It's not yet finished. They are not finished the construction because it has it has less than sixty percent commissioning uh, stage. In fact, they say it is still a pre-commissioning stage, and Dangote is demanding allegedly by the federal government that they should ban 
marketers from importing fuel and that the marketer should come and import, should come and buy from him and then distribute to another Nigerian. But now a foreign organization, foreign media organization, he said that he doesn't even have the capacity. He's not even producing that. He's having technical challenges. But of course, you and I know that Dangote cannot allow that to lie low. They have reacted to that allegation. According to Dangote, a statement from the Dangote refineries, he said, this is outright falsehood as we are not authorized to sell any good we buy from Nigeria. Also, our CDU is working and in perfect condition, Dangote Group's chief spokesperson said. Now, Rankhouse had reported that the refinery is facing operational challenges from a defective crude distillation unit. Rankhouse is claiming that they are having challenges with crude distillation unit, a production unit that has to do with crude distillation. They're having a problem with it. So that is where they are allegedly reselling the crude that they bought. Instead of refining it, they sell it back perhaps to some other people that might need, that might need it. And that even they are also selling refined product that they import. Which is a, this are a huge allegation. And they are late. Rather it's alleging that they are selling both crude oil that they brought in and the refined crude. Does it mean that Dangote is also importing refined product and selling it off as if it were their own? That is the allegation that Riot House are making. Now, this, as I said, has deepened the trouble for Dangote. But Dangote is not lying though. They are defending themselves vigorously. Because let us look at what this spokesperson who defended Dangote, that Reuters are lying. Look at who they blame for, for the Reuters uh, information. Because Reuters, as I told you, they said they got their sources from Dangote uh, refiner. But uh, speaking for now, Dangote chief spokesperson, Anthony Chiejina, who is the group's chief spokesperson, said, we advise that you ignore these false narratives being peddled by those bent on the importation of dirty foils into the country. So, Dangote is blaming those who are bent on importation of dirty foils into Nigeria, that they are the ones that are spreading false information, that they don't have capacity to refine, or that they are refining capacity have been, uh, have been having challenges, technical challenges. So those are the people they are blaming for selling this story to writers that have written about it. Only time will tell. But as I can tell you, I can tell you for free that this matter has now deepened the division between the federal government and the refinery. And we don't know how far it will go. Don't forget, Dangote also accused officials of NNPCR of having blending uh, equipment, blending facilities in mortar through which they bring in dirty foil into Nigeria, filled with sulfur and what have you. So it's all good. A lot of things may be unedited that have not been unedited in our oil industry until now. And this is thanks to Dan Gote, who is a major player that can, they cannot easily push around. They will continue to reveal things about his alleged position of his refinery and he will continue to expose what is going on in government. I think Nigeria should pay more attention because at the end of the day, from all the revelations, we may at the end find the solution to our protracted problem of fuel importation and fuel supply sustainability in Nigeria. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, 
Anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video. When you like it, God will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.